story that I told you about Sonny Webb a long time ago made his faculty line up outside the uh, door of the big room over there. And he told his faculty to shake the hands of every student that came out of there. So the reason I want you to do that is because they're all going to wind up, or most of them are going to wind up being better than you. But, and this guy here has wound up being better than, uh, than, than us. So, uh, so, uh, so I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Rice to introduce him. Well, he said he graduated from Webb in 1996. Um, which every time we have another speaker come in, I call that feel older and older. Um, he was an excellent student here, and, and uh, you'll hear from all that he has accomplished, uh, uh, that he has continued that tradition. Uh, he managed to do very well at Webb despite having suffered through two years of chemistry under me. Um, he, after graduating from Webb, he attended Brown University and earned two bachelor's degrees, one in neuroscience and one in Middle Eastern studies. Um, he was then given a school, a Fulbright scholarship and spent time in Tunisia before attending Harvard Medical School. And uh, he, his residency, his uh, internship was at uh, Massachusetts General in Boston, which is probably a hospital everyone has heard of. And he served his residency with the uh, Harvard Combined Orthopedic Surgery Program and is now a practicing orthopedic surgeon. He, works as an orthopedic trauma surgeon at Vanderbilt University Medical Center and is co-director of the Vanderbilt Orthopedic Institute for Health Policy. Uh, he also serves as an assistant professor at Vanderbilt University uh, in the medical school. And uh, Dr. Sethi has a, a very deep interest in health policy and has been a writer for the Agency of Healthcare Research and Quality as well as a health <coughs> policy fellow for the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery. He served as the national chairman of the medical, American Medical Association resident and fellow sector, and has served as a, as a member of the Committee on Publications of the New England Journal of Medicine of the Massachusetts Medical Society. Um, he has an interest in uh, medical and evidence-based treatment of orthopedic trauma patients, and also a, is a leading researcher in the topic of defensive medicine. Um, in 2009, he was select, selected as national finalist for uh, the White House Fellowship. So he yeah, has a number of accomplishments and a very distinguished career. I also want to mention he is joined today by his wife, Maya. I don't know if you can stand up. Listen, 
in pocket, right? What does that mean? Anybody? Do nothing on the sly. Do nothing on the sly, right? You're probably like, oh God, here we go again. But like, you know, to me, that that motto has carried with me for a long time. You know, and what it means to me is, is do nothing on the sly, but really like, you know, everything that you do go all the way. You know, don't don't do things half-heartedly. You know, when you do something, do it. And that doesn't matter if you're if you're studying for your for your English test tonight, or you're in uh, Mr. Smith or Mr. Rice's class. You have a chemistry test. You need to go at it, and you need to work hard because what you do matters. And when you do it, it matters. And if you build that habit your whole life, it doesn't matter if you're in a in a crazy trauma surgery and your patient's on the table and you know their blood pressure is like 40 over 30 and their heart rate's 150 and you know everybody around you is like listen this guy's gonna go and you're like listen I can do this that simple phrase no the rest so Billy Fockery will stay with you so make it a habit you know do the do the right thing and go all the way I pledge my word of honor as a web gentleman you know or, or web lady um, you know, I remember as a, as a president of the Honor Council standing here you know, with, uh, with uh, Mr. Smith, you know, it doesn't matter <coughs> what you're doing. Your word is your bond. Okay, your, your, word, your word has to mean something. And I think at Web, this is something that is really imparted to you. And you may just kind of write this pledge every day and be like, oh, God, here we go again. I'm writing this pledge. Because back then, you know, in many ways, that's, that's the way I, I kind of felt. I was like, you know, you just get into this daily grind. But looking back so many years now, I can tell you that the things that you learn at Web, the foundations that you build, will carry you for a lifetime. Because these people, the faculty, they love you. They really love you. It's like I just ran into uh, Ralph Jones in the, in, the, in the big room. You know, he looked at me, and he looked at me as the way, like, a parent looks at their kid. Like, wow, I'm, I'm proud of, you know, uh, of Sethi for, for doing what he's done, etc. You know, and, and that is the, what, you know, what I want you guys to leave with today. I really want you to understand that, you know, the faculty here, you know, sometimes they may tell you something you don't like. Sometimes they'll tell you things they, they, that you like. But the bottom line is they want to work on your strengths and they want to work on your weaknesses. And when you leave here, you know, you're, you're, you're leaving like a nest. And so, you know, really, really use what, what is here. So I pledge my word of honor is something that, you know, I remember. And then on the wall of the big room now, which I saw, was, was pedigree your ancestors. Okay? Pedigree your ancestors. So what does that mean to you? Pedigree your ancestors. Just personally. Anything. I'm very Socratic in my. You know, anything. Like. Uh, <laughs> to people in your ancestry that are important. Great. Yes. So that's certainly one way to look at it. That's a great answer. To really like you know to to really appreciate the people who have come before you. But part of it to me is listen. Be proud of where you come from. Be proud of who you are and where you come from. Because it's important and it matters. And just like number one, going all the way. Know the rest of Subdolian Fakhre. You know, nothing on the slide. Pledging your word. Be proud of who you are and be proud of this place. Because listen, I have now been, you know, to multiple schools and done this and that. But I'm telling you, the one thing that I will never let anybody take away from me is my time at web school. Because I love this place. And the teachers here, you know, the faculty here, they, they really care. So, you know, it's important. Um, you know, the, the investment that, that, that your faculty make, simply incredible. Your friendships, you know, the, the, the friendships that I made at web school, uh, I still carry with me today. So you'd be amazed that, you know, somebody in eighth grade or ninth grade that you're hanging out with, you'll be talking to them for the rest of your life. And so, so really cherish that because I lean on a lot of the people that I went to high school with, even when I was in Boston and they were in Florida or I was, you know, in Tennessee and they were in Australia. You know, we, we still keep in touch. And, and it's, uh, it's really important. And, and you know, finally, the, you know, I think one of the most important things is your, your parents. And, you know, I stand here today, and, and many of you, you know, knew my, my mom and dad. Uh, I lost my father about 10 years ago. My father was a ardent supporter of the web school and, uh, and really pushed me to excel. And, you know, your parents pay a lot of money for you to come here. So tonight when you go home, just thank them. Because, you know, they, they really care. And I know sometimes, again, it's the minutia. 
It's like doing the same thing every day, and you're like, oh. And you kind of get this view where you're like this. Uh, and you, you, when you step back, like many years, and you look back, you'll you'll see how important it is. So go home tonight and just thank your parents because you know it's very you know their support is is very vital. And finally, before we talk about healthcare, I want to talk a little bit about your dreams. All right. Each and every one of you in this room, you guys all have dreams, right? There are things that you want to do with your life. You have goals. You know, when I was sitting in the seventh grade, way back there in the corner, or when I was a senior, I was late a lot when I was a senior, so I'd be back there. But um, I get, I get like, uh, you know, I get, LR would just, just beat me for that. Um, 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 you know, there were things that you all want to do with your life. And I know that you're thinking right now, oh, man, I'm like 12 or 13. It's going to be really different when I'm 35. But it won't be. It really won't be. What A lot of the things that you want to do with your life now are going to be what you want to do with your life when you're at my stage. And so when I was you, what I really saw, my parents were both the, our physicians. And, you know, they came from India. And I got to live the American dream. You know, they came from, you know, the streets of Delhi to this small town about uh, 45 minutes from here, uh, Hillsboro, Tennessee, and were pillars of the community. My father was a primary care doctor, and my mother was an OBGYN. And so what I saw at that time was that, you know, I had all these opportunities, but a lot of the people around me didn't. And, you know, specifically with regards to health care, that, that health care was really, really hurting us, that we were spending a lot, that, you know, costs were out of control, and maybe the quality wasn't so, so good. So even when I was sitting in that corner, I said, listen, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But part of it is going to entail me coming back to Tennessee to try to make a difference. And so what I want to talk to you about now in the next 10 to 15 minutes is sort of health care uh, and health care reform and, and why you should, uh, you should uh, care. <laughs> 